Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Pentiment. Last time we left off, we were talking to Till here, and I had a pretty interesting um, conversation with uh, Voxlav, was the name? And today, we are on the way to the Abbey. Hey Miklaus, you're, uh, you're uh, Lauren's little gopher, right? Be with- God be with you, Andreas. Is God with us? Look at this rain. Uh, are you still preparing to leave even with this weather? Let's ask this one. Weather is unfortunate, but the Baron's wife, Lady S Salomea, will be arriving today. That's a name I've never heard of before, and that's a cool name. Salomea will be arriving today. My lord intends to depart as soon as she arrives. How long have they been married? Seven years now. She's a fine woman, a true lady. Slipping to bid farewell to the Baron before he leaves. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. He spoke highly of you before he went to bed. He was glad you were willing to debate him at supper, even though he's sure the abbot will hold it against you. Yeah! See? Baron likes me. Uh, the abbot is too conservative. I find it best to ignore him. The Baron is the patron of the abbey. I don't didn't want to refuse him. Luther's work is worth debating, regardless of what the abbot thinks. My lord certainly agrees, but he hasn't found many people who share that opinion in Tyrol or Bavaria. County of the Archduchy of Austria and the Holy Roman Empire. It sits south of Bavaria, east of the Swiss Confederacy, and north of the Republic of Venice. Would it be fair to say I have the Baron's favor? Yeah! Suggested Lorenz would find little entertainment in you, down. Expressed fascination of Luther's idea. Were enthusiastic about sharing occult lore. Addressed the Baron respectfully. Tried to turn down the Baron's supper invitation, but I engaged you in the debate at dinner. The Baron likes me. Yes. It would. My lord bade me give you a token of his friendship in his absence. He says it's a small thing compared to future commissions, but he hopes that you will wear it with pride. Ooh! Well, what an extraordinary pin! Please thank the Baron for me. And he'll, I'll keep it. I will keep it secure until I have the clothing worthy of bearing it. In fact, I'll wear it right now. Many thanks. Hmm. This might be important. What if I got it stolen from me or something? In fact, I'll wear it right now, but if I see the Baron and I'm not wearing it, he'll be mad. I, I might be overthinking it. I'll keep it secure until I have clothing worthy of bearing it. See, there's, this could go two ways. Either I do see the Baron and he's disappointed that I'm not wearing it, or I keep it secure and I stop it from getting stolen from me by, like, I don't know, Martin or somebody. So could come by and swipe it. The fact that it says I will keep it secure... I'll wear it now. Or maybe I lose it in, like, the rain or something. As you wish, of course. Where is your master gone, then? He went for a walk early in the morning. He didn't say when he'd be back. Hope he returns soon. The rain is turning everything to mud. That seems odd, given the weather. Yeah. You got some- uh, you, you doing some occult stuff? Not odd for him. My lord enjoys hiking in all sorts of weather. Little rain never bothered him. I can sympathize. We Swabians enjoy a good walk through nature, even in such conditions. Baron seems to be quite an unusual man in many ways. No, I won't say that. Well, I apologize for taking up so much of your time. Good luck, good speed, and I hope you can keep dry. It's no trouble. Many thanks. Until next time, Andreas. Oh, one thing before you go. Did you see a short, surly-looking young man in a hat on your way up this morning? Yes. Wink. Surely you don't mean me. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna do this one because I- I want to- I want to say, yeah, no, that was Martin. Uh, that can only be Martin Bauer. He ran past me in the meadows. I was walking up the hill. He was in quite a hurry. Ah, uh, that would explain my lord's missing rings. Yeah, see, I- mm-hmm. See, I'm saying, like, I'm- I bet Martin's gonna try to steal this from me, especially since Martin doesn't like me. What rings are these? One gold, one silver, a handful 
of Gul'dan and a book the Baron was planning to give to the Abbey. A book? Historia Tassier? I believe so, yes. I went to pack the Baron's things and they were missing. The boy is a known thief. Wouldn't surprise me if he's responsible for the missing rings. Well, let's, let's, let's ask first. Why do you think Martin stole the rings? Yesterday, I caught the boy with the hat, Martin, I suppose, peering in through the windows. I could have admonished him at the time, but, well, he seemed harmless. It's a shame that the Baron won't be too put out. My lord is a man of means. He won't miss the gold or the rings. I do think he'll be upset about the book. He was quite excited for the abbot to see it. In any case, I must finish preparing the horses. It was good talking to you, Andreas. Of course. I hope this rain lets up for you soon. But God willing, till next time. Until then. Uh-oh, that's not good. The story has been stolen. That's kind of the whole point they were- the, the whole reason they were even putting up with Roth- uh, Rothbogen's shit. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. Martin, you little shit. So, should I go try to find Martin? And be like, hey! Did you steal the rings, you little shit? You were running past me in quite a hurry. Maybe you didn't steal, though. Maybe you saw something... Maybe. Maybe you saw something in the Baron's house that you didn't like. You know? I don't know. Maybe the Baron turned into a werewolf or something. You know? Maybe. Maybe that's why you were running, and they're just trying to cover it up. Where was- where would Martin have been? Martin was... You'd have been down, right? No, that's- that's to Franz Bauer. Yeah. What is Martin's last name? Damn it. What is, uh... What is your last name, Martin? Gotta remind myself of that. People. Uh... Lady Solomea. The wife of Lawrence Rothvogel. Oh, it's Rothvogel. Oops. I think- I, I can't- I don't think that's what I said. Um... Lady Solomea is from a well-respected Viennese family and has been married to the Baron for seven years. And we got Old Otto. Old Otto Zimmerman, carpenter and father of Otto, suffered a stroke several years ago, so his son has taken over much of their business, lives next to the town commons. Oof, a stroke during this time would be awful. I mean, a stroke during any time is awful, but especially now. Smokey. Adam Smokey Kohler. Charcoal burner for Tassing and Kearsaw. Smokey lives in the woods between the town and the abbey. Boxlov, family name unknown, a Romani traveler who has been staying in the woods with Smokey for a few weeks. He helps Smokey with the charcoal burning and does odd jobs for the townsfolk. Yeah, you were cool, Voxlov. I liked you a lot. Um, Anna Mullerin, daughter of Ulrich and Gret. Alrighty. And journal. The Flood. Ah, okay, so yeah, we've completed that. The weather's awful. I still have to get to the scriptorium. Hopefully, tempers have calmed down since last night. But I gotta check in with, um... Oh yeah, I didn't even do the thing I meant to go in there and do. I need to check your name, Martin. Martin, Martin, Martin. Martin Bauer. Okay. And the Bower... it was over here, right? It said the Bowers were... I believe this path led to the Bowers. Franz Bauer, yes. Where are you at, Martin, you little shit? Franz Bauer. Yeah, and this is just Otelia's house. Okay, never mind this. This is just you two. Where would you be, then? John Bauer Farm. Here we go. John Bauer House. Hmm. Where are you at, you little shit? Where would you have run off to? And John Bauer found Franz Bauer. I mean... If you were up in town, maybe. I'll have to look at the map in the town. Because you live at a different place than them, don't you? I think so. I think Martin was kind of in the- Martin was in the square that one time, yeah? Because their- their sheep had gotten loose? Let's just go check over there really quickly. I do like my little pin! My pin's cool, it really brings the- brings the fit together. Hopefully the Baron isn't insulted that I'm wearing it with my current attire. 
The Steinauer House, North Town, the Bakery, the Town Commons. Indris. Yeah, and I can't get over there. I love Andreas. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I can actually find Martin. I thought maybe I could chase you down, but you don't seem to be at any of the houses I would expect you to be at. So... Oh well, I guess I just need to get back to the Abbey. It didn't give me a quest objective for it, but... You know. Okay, to the meadow. And up to the Abbey. I like seeing all the people in the background and everything. Maybe I asked Till about something? Or Master Mailer? I was thought maybe I could ask where... Where Martin went. Might be able to find... Might have been able to find you if I'd looked around. Like, maybe you're hiding in the woods or something? I don't know. So, should I just go straight to where I gotta go? I still don't know, you know? I don't know if I should talk to everybody, like Cecilia here. God bless you, Andreas. Okay. Something I can help you with? Nope. Okay. Yeah, see. It's, it's hard to know if I'll get new dialogue with anyone or anything like that. Um... Laquarium. Can't go in there. Okay, yeah, nobody's out here. I mean, it makes sense they wouldn't be in the garden today. As hard as it's raining, I suppose. No one's really hanging out here. There's Mousefonger. Hello. Uh, also, someone in the comments mentioned, uh, the way I say Matthias is apparently the correct way. Which is, uh, cool. I'm happy about that. Nobody in here. Alright, I guess we just, uh, go ahead and get into the Abbey. Then. I just wanted to check. You know? Wouldn't want to miss any important things. We can go ahead and just, uh, run straight to the... Bailey. And then the Scriptorium. Hello, everyone. Oh, this is wonderful. The rest of the Abbey is soaked, and there's not a drop of rain in here. Good thing the Abbot had auto replaced the roof to the Scriptorium and Library last month. With the Califactory next door, we can stay warm while everyone else is cold and wet. A communal warming room in monasteries. Califactories are usually attached to the cloister, but in Kearsal, it is part of the old Abbey and therefore connected to the old Scriptorium. It keeps the monks warm and the library dry. Interesting. Instead of bragging about one good fortune, you should think upon your brothers and sisters and pray for their health and safety. The abbot's foresight saved a lot of our work and protected what's in the library. The town hasn't fared as well. I'm sure they'll be fine. More importantly, if they're not, I don't care. You're kind of a dick. Brother Guy, your heart is harder than the stone of this floor. Huh. Yeah, the grumpy old monk, where's the nice one? Brother Piero, have you seen him yet today? Yeah, I was wondering, where is Piero? I did, before Brother Guy arrived. Brother Piero left to speak to the abbot some time ago. What? Why is Matthew ringing the bell? It can't be terse already. Uh-oh. Is this when things go bad? <laughs> Pray it stops soon. Such a cacophony is an assault on my frail ears. It's not stopping. I suppose this means we're being summoned to the chapter house. God, give me strength to endure the rain. It's fifty feet, old man. You'll live. God, give me the strength to endure this man! <laughs> I kinda love Adog. Just grumpy old, grumpy old monk. And then Guy just purposefully annoys him. It's still not stopping. What's going on? This can't all be because of the storm. I should see what's the matter. <clears throat> Uh-oh... What's happening? Did the Baron turn into a werewolf? Or an old god? Or summon a demon? What- what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Stuff has been so chill for so long. I'm- I'm- I'm ready to see- Huh! That sounded like a scream. Wait, 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 wait. I was clicking. A startling scream. What? That- that, that was... That was obviously a woman's scream. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I- I was clicking, so it skipped it. Um... Uh, journal. 
Okay, uh, Brother Matthew rang the church bells early, and now one of the sisters is screaming in the chapter house. I should see what's going on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Everybody just calm down. Uh, I had to step away for a minute to take care of something really quickly, and uh, I actually looked at my comments while I was doing it, and someone mentioned I forgot to give the money to Clara. Uh, yeah, I expected that to be in, like, a cutscene or something when I went home, but uh, it seems like that was not the case, so... Uh, hopefully I can still give it to Clara. Hopefully th things don't get so bad here in Tassing that I can't give you your tax money. Although if you, like, die or something, I don't suppose you need it. But, uh, hopefully I can still go back, like, later today and give Clara the money. Um, so, yeah. That is something. Yeah, I expected it just, like, when I got there, it, like, would automatically give it. And then I kind of forgot. But, uh, let's go get to the chapter house, why don't we? We gotta see what's happening in the chapter house. It's coming from just down the hall. Maybe the chapter house. Uh-huh. Should I explore other places, or should I just run straight there? What if I could find scenes of the crime? Over here? No, okay. Okay, no, nothing. Nothing, you know, fine, let's just- let's just go to the chapter house. I think those screams are coming from the chapter house. Sebat? I think something terrible has happened, Master Andreas. Sebat? Uh-oh. Alright, let's see where we get that mature rating from. <clears throat> There's blood. Oh. That's... That's Rothvogel, isn't it? I... Yeah, the, like, rough. Right? Like, right here. Oh, no. I think that's... Yeah, that's Rothvogel. I recognize the attire. I thought it was going to be Piero that something happened to. Oh, God. We should remain silent, but people already aren't happy with us. Please, Father. Where's Brother Florian? Have him come quickly. Be silent, Brother. Brother Florian, if you please. Murder. Sorry, Father. There's nothing to be done. He's dead. Uh. Sister Marguerite, calm yourself. Sister Gertrude, please take Sister Marguerite back to the garden. Yes, Mother Cecilia. God protect us. The Baron is, was, a friend of the Prince Bishop of Phrasing. Why is he so worried about the Prince Bishop? He, because because they never cared about cared about Rothvogel, just what Rothvogel could do for us. But also the fact that the bishop died over here in like a pagan town. There's probably gonna be things said about that, or a previous pagan town. Abby is odd in more than one way. Its existence offends some in the church. Yep, exactly. We are far enough from Rome in Mainz that, uh, what is this? Yeah, Mainz. Mainz is the home of the Archbishop of Mainz and Elector of the Holy Roman Empire in Primus Germanae, the Pope's substitute north of the Alps, I see. Everyone forgets about us, but this could bring unwanted attention. Florian, how easily do you think you could dispose of this body? Father Abbot, what are you saying? Why are you questioning me? Why are you wasting precious time? Do you want to see the soldiers of the Prince Bishop march up our steps and fling your brothers and sisters out of our home? To pray the God protect us, Kotosakra, Dionosgard, Dinugard. Silence, quiet! I- there was a lot of things going on there and I knew how to pronounce none of them. Calm yourselves, all of you. Father Abbot, Baron Rothvogel's manservant is already preparing to leave. The Baron's wife should be here in a matter of hours. This is not the time for rash decisions. Yes, yes, you're right. Forgive me. But then what will we do? We must send the Baron's men to the court of the Prince Bishop in Freysing at once. 
Mother Cecilia, the Baron said the Prince Arch the Prince Bishop's Archdeacon was an in Innsbruck for the Imperial Diet. Even better, swift action will silence any whispers of impropriety on our part. Given the Baron's statue stature, the Archdeacon will undoubtedly come to investigate immediately. We must cooperate with him fully and pray for a speedy resolution. Yes, yes, good. Thank you, Mother Cecilia. Brother Volschlav, please detain Brother Piero in the cellar until the Prince Bishop's man arrives. Detain? What? Brother Piero, why? Because you were the one that found him, so you're a suspect? Brother Piero, why? That's absurd. He was caught in flagrant delicto, covered in blood with a knife in his hand. And blazing a fence, indicating an individual has been caught in the act of committing a crime. Basically caught red-handed. Yeah, I mean, he was probably investigating. Father, do you really believe that Brother Piero is capable of such a foul deed? Yes, capable enough when motivated by anger. I had no anger against the Baron, Father Abbot. I simply came across him like this. No anger, not even for insulting your work and forcing us to give it to Andreas. Yeah, I mean, I, does Piero look like the type to get angry? This is not a subject for debate. When the Prince Bishop's man arrives, we must not be empty-handed. He wasn't angry. Anyone who's in the scriptorium knows that. Even Guy knows that. Even if Piero wanted to kill the Baron, he's not physically capable of the act. I mean, which one of these would be better? He wasn't angry. Anyone in the scriptorium knows that. Even Guy knows that. He was more disappointed in himself. He's not physically capable of the act. That I agree with, right? Hmm. I don't know which one of these would be better. Cause this you might just you might just throw out. I mean you're probably gonna throw it out either way. You're basically just looking for a scapegoat and you're gonna use Piero for it. Even if Piero wanted to kill the Baron, he's not physically capable of the act. He has an advanced palsy in his hand that affects his fingers. He could barely hold a knife, much less use it to kill someone. Yes, my yes, my medicinal background! <clears throat> if I wanted a medical opinion, I would ask Brother Florian or the respectable Dr. Stock or Stoltz. I don't, and this is not your affair. It's my affair if you're going to make me part of uh, uh, Brother Piero's supposed motive. Yeah. I am through debating this with you. My decision stands. Brother Wojslav will detain Brother Piero in the cellar until I say otherwise. Brother Florian, please contact Andreas out of the ab- Please escort Andreas out of the abbey. Andreas, do not show your face here again until tomorrow. Do you understand me? I'm saying nothing. What if Florian did it? Florian has the knife and my back's turned! Andreas, listen to me. I sympathize with you. I don't think Piero did this either, but this isn't the time to push the abbot. Screw the abbot! Sure, the other brothers and sisters believe Piero is innocent as well. But the abbot is worried about the Prince Bishop's attention. I have to do something. I can't let Piero die for something he didn't do. I appreciate your passion, but if you pursue this in indelicately, you could make matters worse. Take a few hours to calm your nerves and your mind. You need to think clearly. Go to the Druckers, eat a good meal, and come back. At Nons, monastic hour corresponding 3 p.m., one of the little hours of prayer. We won't have much time, but tap on my window with a small stone and I'll let you in. Let me in for what? To examine the body. We're gonna do an investigation! Okay, well good. We can go give the money to Clara. Florian mandated dinner. Should follow Florian's advice and go to the truckers. Hopefully it will clear my head. Um, okay, Florian, um, let's make sure we check you out, yeah? Formerly a mercenary in Poland, that, that explains the missing eye. Brother Florian is the Abbey's inf infirmarian. Despite his violent background, he is known for his kindness and calm demeanor. 
Makes sense. Yeah, we hadn't seen you before. There's so many, so many brothers and sisters we've never seen. <clears throat> the brothers and sisters discovered Lawrence murdered in the chapter house. Brother Piero kneeling nearby with a bloody knife. I can't make sense of it, but the abbot has ordered me to leave until tomorrow. Brother Florian promised to let me covertly attend his examination of the body later today. Till then, he thinks I should sit down for a good meal. See if the druckers have a place at their table for me. Alrighty. So yeah, we definitely, definitely want to get back down there. Ah, it's gonna make me talk to you. Damn it. It's gonna make me talk to you. Damn, I was I was gonna try to go get the Clara. Day Andreas, back from the Abbey already? It's only noon. Andreas, are you alright? I'm not sure. Oh, why don't you come inside and sit down for a minute? On the position, I'd appreciate a moment to rest. Yes. Not an imposition at all. My friends are always welcome in my home. Why do you do that thing where you- it looks like you're like, typing it, or like, carving it in the stone, and it's upside down, and then you flip over to the other thing. That's something that I can't comprehend. Besides, I could use your opinion on something. <clears throat> Damn it, it's gonna make me walk in here. Damn it all. Yeah, they like... Interesting. Is it- is it- do they like write it in a different language first, and then write it in theirs? In- in the- in, in ours, I mean? Hmm. Oh no, I hope people don't see this pin on me and think I killed... the Baron. Damn it. Good day, Andreas. Should I fix you a plate? If it's not too much trouble, I'd appreciate it. It'd be my pleasure. This rain has got everyone's spirits down. Hopefully a good meal can cheer you up. Hello. Hello, Bertolt. How are you? Sleepy. I'm back to my workshop. I should have ended the episode off. I still gotta render this and get it up. I'm going to do a new run of Till Eulenspiegel. There was a printing a few years ago in Strasbourg, but it was awful. Almost bereft of illustrations. What do you think of these new ones? Figures in comparison are terrific, but the background is quite dense and busy. Oh, I like it. They look wonderful. Excellent work. Thank you. I'll be sure to let Marie know. Are these her woodcuts? They are. The drawings are mine, but she did the block cuts. Got enough talent to draw the designs, but only she can do the woodcuts and the type. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 I'm hungry. Amen. Andreas, what were the bells for at the Abbey? They were sounding for a long time. Visiting nobleman Lorenz Rothvogel was found murdered in the chapter house. Oh god, we're just saying it? I thought we were gonna keep this under wraps. God in heaven, he just rode by here yesterday. Yes, it gets worse. One of the elderly brothers I work with in Scriptorium, Piero, was accused of the crime. That's awful. A murder in Kirsau? How could a monk do such a thing? Sorry, Andreas. The Baron seemed like an interesting man, and I know he's been a patron of the Abbey for years. How did he die? Could it have been an accident? And does the Abbot really believe that Brother Piero killed him? You've always spoken of him in the kindest terms. Seems like Lawrence has been stabbed, but I don't know. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood, but I'd rather not speculate. I spare the details, but it's hard to believe what happened to him is natural. No, I can't believe Piero did it. I can't imagine him harming anyone. Oh, don't hold back on my account. I've had children and even helped Agnes deliver a few. I'm not squeamish. Yes, blood! If it wasn't Brother Piero, who do you think could have done it? Did see Lucky Steinauer get into a shouting argument with Lawrence yesterday just before I walked by your place. Lucky? Why would he have caused the shot of the nobleman? It's like the food item to eat. I really need to end this episode off. Um... Eat my egg pasta. Probably something else going on you wouldn't know about, dear. What do you mean by that? Not one to trade gossip, but if you really want to know, talk to some of the other women in town. My mother Cecilia up at the Abbey. My mother Cecilia? I didn't realize she saw much of Tassing. 
Well, there's no need for that. Lucky's a forthright man. I'm sure if you ask him, he'll tell you what the argument was about. Thank you both. That's good advice. There's something else, though. When Lawrence and I were walking through the meadow, the widow Kempern came out of the woods and... Yes. Well, she cursed him. Not surprised, Tilia's late husband Rannig ran afoul of Lawrence on his last visit to Tassing. I don't remember the details, but Rannig died just last year, and Atelier hasn't been the same since. Yeah, so you hate the Baron. He was always an old bitch, even before she was old. Klaus, that's enough. She's had to deal with a lot of jobs, uh, jobs a lot in life. Job's, or it may, it may have been Job from the Bible, because it was capitalized. She lives all alone at the edge of the woods. There are rumors she's going to lose her property soon. Do pity her, even if she is a bit... Bitter woman. <laughs> Should be some exemption in a law for her to inherit. Some exception in a law for her to inherit. Seems like it would be more just, yes. Wasn't always this way. I think my great-grandmother inherited the land way back when. Well, if men changed it, they can change it back. Right, as always, my dear. Enough about Atulia. Is there anything else you think may have done it? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it would make sense that you should be able to inherit the land. I don't know if he has any ill intent, but Prior Fering has been acting strangely since the day Lawrence arrived. Perhaps an academic agreement? No, they're both avid readers, both of classics and new works. On his last visit, the Baron bought a book on astronomy from me. Now the Prior has some similar interests. But would the Prior kill someone over a simple disagreement? It's not as strange as you might think. Within the world of astronomy, some have opinions they would kill for. What is an opinion for some is a testament of faith for others and worth killing for. Maybe so, but I've never seen that sort of anger in Prior for Inc. Not even when Garneau was made of Abbott instead of him. Afterward, he seemed bitter, but never violent. Just doesn't seem to be part of his character. So, Lucky the Window and the Abbey Prior. Anyone else? There was something strange when we approached the Abbey together. Mother Cecilia was outside with some of the sisters. Mother Cecilia, Cecilia scowled and took the nuns inside without saying a word. Sounded like they had history, at least. <clears throat> I do not know Mother Cecilia personally, but I've never heard anyone speak badly of her. If she had caused this like the Baron, I must believe she had good reason. Well, Andreas, sounds like there's a lot to look into. Thank you for talking to me. I was feeling overwhelmed. You're always welcome here, Andreas. Anytime. Yeah! You're especially welcome with this one. Alrighty. God be with you, Andreas. Thank you. Be good until I come back, Bertholdt. I'll try. It was Bertholdt. Bertholdt did it! Two days remain. Interesting. Body of Lawrence Vothvogel. I have several leads to follow, but where should I start? I can talk to Lady Stein- Lucky Steinauer. Probably working in front of his house. Widow Kemperin lives south of here, near Franz Bauer. Prior for Rink is usually at the scriptorium, but I won't be able to talk to him until tomorrow. Still nothing would prevent me from talking to Mother Cecilia in the convent. But I, if I don't attend Brother Florian's examination of the body at the Abbey, he'll have to do it without me. Alright, there was a lot to examine there, but I need to end this episode off, like, ASAP, so... Alrighty, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Pentiment. We'll deliver the stuff to Clara and start investigating some of these leads tomorrow, so... Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you then.